essential fatty acids. So we talked about the prostaglandin A2, right, which is the essential fatty acid of omega-6. Omega-6 essential fatty acids. The other one is omega-3s. So omega-3s are found in fish oils. Right? Who eats wild fish about two, three days a week? Like three or four people. Way to go. <laughs> Keep doing that. That's awesome. Because you're getting a lot of omega-3s. Right? If you're eating a lot of chia seeds and flax seeds and seaweeds and anastaxin and stuff like that too, then you're getting some omega-3s in your diet and that's a good thing. But that's not the common of everybody, obviously. That was like 2% of the whole group here today. So what, that, what does that mean? You're probably deficient in these omega-3s. Why is that a problem? These omega-3s reduce inflammation with prostaglandin E3. The third one. The third one is a pathway caught that is with omega-3 fatty acids that actually decreases inflammation. It's your body's own regulatory force naturally decreasing inflammation. Isn't that awesome? They're even trying to turn this into a medication now. I saw a medication commercial for this, for omega-3s. <laughs> They're catching on. That's a good thing. Let's get that in there. But the thing is, we have to have this ratio of the omega-3s to the omega-6s. Has anybody heard of that before, the ratio? Some people have heard about it. Most people haven't. So we want to look at the ratio from 6 to 3. Now, when this ratio becomes in balance with more 6, six it leads to inflammation because of the prostaglandin A2 pathway. It goes just into inflammation. Everything that comes in your body is just producing inflammation. It's like fire. It just keeps going and going and going. This, the omega-3, is like water putting out the fire or compressing it, decreasing that inflammation. So the average ratio of North Americans is 50 to 1. This needs to be 4 to 1 to 2 to 1. So if it needs to be 4 to 1 to 2 to 1 and you're 50 to 1, you think you have an inflammation problem? Yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. And so you have an inflammation problem, so now we're causing damage to the arteries, mm -hmm. we're causing swelling, we're causing pain, we're causing high blood pressure, right? And we go and we just take a medication for that because no one ever told us this. Or maybe we try a good diet and exercise, maybe we go on the low fat diet, right? Which doesn't affect this. Right? Maybe we go for walks, which doesn't really affect this. And so that's why balancing this out is so key. 